With over 14 million downloads per month and consistently making it to the top 100 podcasts on Apple Podcasts, How I Built This is one of the most successful and popular podcasts in the business and entrepreneurship genre. We're going to listen to pieces of this episode and dissect things like storytelling skills, interview techniques, sound design, and more. Guy Raz is a master storyteller who knows how to craft engaging narratives. He has a unique ability to take complex ideas and break them down into digestible, bite-sized stories that are both educational and entertaining. Listen to how he starts this episode, painting a picture for the audience to get them up to speed before diving into the interview. The two brothers started a YouTube channel as a way to keep in touch. Hank was living in Montana, John was in New York, and they missed talking to each other. So every day, one brother would post a video to the other brother. And the videos might include things like what was going on in the world, or a cool science discovery, or maybe a new song one of them wrote. At the time, John was an aspiring, if slightly struggling, writer. He'd written a few well-received novels, but only sold a few thousand copies. Hank was thinking about becoming a science writer. But because they were smart and funny and relatable, their video diary started getting views. At first, hundreds, and eventually, thousands. Today, that YouTube channel, Vlogbrothers, has three and a half million subscribers. Guy's storytelling skills are rooted in his preparation and research. He takes the time to fully understand his guests and their stories, and in the next clip, you'll notice that he loops in pieces of information throughout the interview that gives the audience more information on certain topics. By doing thorough research and relaying that research in a way that adds human elements to the story, like bringing out the personal struggles, challenges, and triumphs of guests, you can create a narrative that is more relatable and inspiring for the listener. As we get into the interview from this episode, you'll notice that he also knows how to ask the right questions and guide the conversation in a way that brings out the most interesting and revealing parts of the story. He is able to do this because of that deep knowledge that he has on the subject. So keep that in mind as we move on to our next clip to listen to his interview techniques. This is the beginning of where this interview becomes really, really like a crazy (laughs) roller coaster ride on speed and other... (laughs) <laughs> amphetamines because the number of businesses and things that you guys will do from this point forward is mind-boggling. So we're, I'm going to try to get to most of them, but I'm just warning listeners that there's a lot coming now. I'm not great at focus. Oh man, you give Hank Green five minutes and he gives you a limited liability corporation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably annoy the limited liability corporation like registration office because you're in there all the time. They're like, oh God, here he is again. Um, but this, but you've got this kind of growing community, and you, you're tapped into this world of people who are clearly engaged, which leads you to the next venture um, that you found, which is called VidCon. Hmm. This is a conference kind of around around YouTubers. Tell me how you came up with that idea. One of the things that sets Guy apart is his ability to create a comfortable and relaxed atmosphere for his guests. He has a friendly and engaging demeanor that puts his guests at ease, allowing them to open up and share their stories in a way that's authentic and revealing. He also has a deep understanding of his subjects and their businesses, which allows him to ask insightful and thought-provoking questions that bring out the most interesting parts of the story. Another aspect of Guy's interviewing skills is his ability to keep the conversation flowing naturally. By listening to Guy, you can learn how to find the right balance between asking questions and letting guests share their stories. Learn when to push for more information and when to let the conversation unfold organically. Sound design is an integral part of the podcast, and it plays a crucial role in creating an immersive and engaging listening experience for the audience. During the next clip, pay attention to how the show incorporates music and additional audio elements. We were both really interested in online video and the way that online video was being used as a path into building community. And so we would have these conversations on Instant Messenger about how much we loved the show with Zay Frank or how much we loved Lonely Girl 15 and how interesting it was and how new and different and thrilling it felt. And then one day those conversations just transitioned to us saying, well, we could do that. 
why don't we try something like that? I mean, what was it about those videos? Because this is, I mean, the stuff on YouTube in 2006, 2007 was like, you look at it now and it's, it seems weird or, you know, like there was a, this like redhead guy who used to scream. <laughs> What was his name? <laughs> Kids used to watch him. What was his name? The screaming redhead kid. Redhead guy used to scream. For, are you talking about Fred? Fred, I think Fred, he's talking about Fred. 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 In amazing. addition to music and audio clips, the show also incorporates sound effects and other audio elements to create an atmosphere that represents what's going on in the story. For example, the show may add the sound of a bustling city street to create a sense of energy and excitement or the sound of a relaxing beach to convey the sense of peace and tranquility. Using sound design can increase the production value of your episodes and add another layer to the audio experience for the listener, keeping them more engaged and entertained. As you start listening to more episodes of How I Built This, you'll learn that all of the episodes are produced in a consistent way. This consistency is a key factor in the show's success and helps to create a sense of familiarity and trust with its audience. Each episode begins with the same intro music and Guy Raz introducing the show and its purpose. This constant introduction helps to establish the brand and sets the tone for the episode. Welcome to How I Built This, a show about innovators, entrepreneurs, idealists, and the stories behind the movements they built. Guy uses a consistent storytelling structure in each episode, which helps to create a sense of structure and flow for the listener. This structure typically includes an introduction to the subject and their business, a discussion of their journey and challenges, and a conclusion that ties the story together. Guy and his team use a consistent approach to the sound design in each episode, incorporating sound effects, music, and other audio elements to enhance the story. How I Built This has a recognizable brand, including its logo, color scheme, and website that is maintained consistently across all episodes. This consistency in branding helps to establish the show's identity and makes it easily recognizable to listeners. By maintaining this consistency between episodes, Guy Raz and the team behind How I Built This have created a well-established and recognizable brand that helps keep listeners engaged and coming back for more. If you're a podcaster, I'm sure you've noticed the high-quality audio from both Guy and his guests. But how does he do it? Do you want to know the secret to making a great podcast? Well, I'll be honest with you, I can't turn you into an amazing storyteller overnight, but I can tell you about one secret that is used among the pros. It's a superpower. It's a platform called Riverside.fm, and it's basically a studio inside your browser that makes it super easy to record a great high quality podcast from anywhere. I've linked to Riverside in the description of this video, so you can go check it out for yourself. Now go listen to the rest of this episode and more episodes of How I Built This and pay attention to these things. The research that went into the interview. So listen to the way Guy asks questions while including necessary information and facts. The way that research is portrayed through a mix of narration, interview questions, and follow-up questions. The relationship created between Guy and the guests. Follow when he lets his guests talk and when he pushes for more information. The way the sound is used to enhance the listening experience. Pay attention to your emotions and visualizations throughout the episode. And of course, pay attention to the consistency of all these things across all of the episodes. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next one.